Regardless of where you stand and your opinion regarding giving your tithe, I believe this video is going to be beneficial for you if you want to listen. So I want to talk about debunking tithing myths, what the Bible really says about giving and giving here is in respect to your tithe. Now, the first question I would like to ask is for any Christian, do you think that if Christians are not pressured or made to feel guilty to pay their tithes, that they would naturally give their tithes? And secondly, what is the right mindset about tithing and tithe itself? I will go into the first point of this video that I wrote down. Is tithing a personal decision or an obligation for a Christian? That is one of the questions that people tend to have arguments about. And I do not want to base this video on any arguments. I just want to share my opinion and what I understand according to the Bible, what the Bible says. Tithing from the origin of it was not in the law. It was not based on the law. The first person that paid tithe did not pay tithe because there was an obligation or because there was a law that it was mandated to pay tithe. He paid tithe because he understood he had the right heart and we'll get to that without me getting ahead of myself. But then tithe was instituted into the law in Leviticus and then it was made to be a part of the law, which is the law now made it mandatory for people to pay tithe. Why did the Israelites pay tithe? Because that is the lineage. The Jewish people are the lineage to which we understand and know about tithing. Those were the ones that operated under the law. Why did they pay tithe? They paid tithe to the Levites. Why? Because the Levites were not working, but they were serving as priests in the house of God. So the tithe paid by the other tribes of Israel was used for them to have what to eat to feed themselves and also tithe was used for strangers for widows for orphans so that they could be taken care of which you could say that tithe was also used for humanitarian services but then when we come to today's template tithe is not an obligation for a christian at the end of this video i'm going to share my position on tithe and why i tithe because I pay my tithe. I don't want to call it pay. I was talking to a friend and he said, he would not call it pay. I give my tithe because it is a personal decision. From this point, for me, tithing is a personal decision. Tithing is not an obligation. I understand that a lot of denominations try to make tithing kind of like an obligation that you have to, you must tithe, that if you don't tithe, this and that might happen. And many Christians only get to pay their tithe because they are afraid of the things that have been proclaimed against them as causes for them not paying their tithe. Now, when you go back like that, you are going back into legalism because in legalism, scripture clearly says, if you want to keep the law, you cannot keep one and leave the rest, which means you have to keep all. If you break one, you break all. If you keep one, you have to keep all to be righteous because in the law, you did good to live. You keep the law to live. It means for you to be able to be righteous before God, righteousness of the law, you have to keep all the law. And no man was able to do that from all the forefathers of the Israelites down to David, all of them. None of them was able to keep the law perfectly. That was the reason Christ came. And that is why in the context of the new covenant in the New Testament, you don't see Christ making tithes kind of like this basic thing. And in fact, when he had to respond to the Pharisees who made a big deal of tithes, let's read Matthew 23, what Christ had to say to them. What sorrow awaits you teachers of religious law and you Pharisees? Hypocrites, for you are careful to tithe even the tiniest income from your hip gardens. Now, just look at this. These people are so careful, like they are so invested into tithing, but you ignore the more important aspects of the law, justice, mercy and faith jesus is comparing you leave what is most important and he made tithes according to this scripture he said that tithe is not the basic thing like not the most important thing in regard to the law and what pleases god he says justice mercy and faith is what pleases god then he continued you should tithe yes but do not neglect the more important things in our culture we see that when people talk about tithing they almost like make it look like the more important thing than even the things that are more important justice mercy and faith because tithing under the law is not based on faith it's based on obligation to god and from the foundation and origin of tithing tithing was supposed to be on faith now from this scripture it answered the question i asked 
is stating a personal opinion or is it an obligation? Jesus said here, yeah, you should tight. Yes. He did not say you must tight. You should tight, talking to the Pharisees. But then do not neglect what is more important. Because they did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Number two, is tithing about the reward. Mm. I see that a lot of people, a lot of us Christians, being taught that, you know, when you tithe, that's the reason that good things will happen to you. And when you don't tithe, that's why bad things are happening to you. That's why you're not prospering. That's why things in your life are not working. And all of those perception and mindset. And I realized that it immediately clicks that tithing is about the reward. So now the reason I pay my tithe is so that I will get the reward of things working well, my finance is going good, and all of that. And there are people that reap benefit of this, and I will get to that. But then the motive for tithing shouldn't be about a reward because tithe is not a transaction. A lot of us pay tithe as if it's a transaction. At the end of the month, you are like, God, I've paid my owner so that you can guard the I paid my 10% so that you can guard the remaining 90. I'm like, why would you have a transactional mindset and relationship with God to that? Do you think that you can pay God to safeguard the 90% that is remaining? Do you think that the 10% is enough to pay God? It's not a transaction, first of all. It's not about the reward because we go into this and immediately a lot of Christians think it's about that return on investment. Like I'm investing my tithe in God. So now I'm waiting for a return on investment. It is not an investment in that perception. Your tithe is a personal decision and it should come from a place of understanding why am I even tithing? You don't tithe to be blessed. You tithe because you are blessed. Now, the essence of tithe was for you to understand that God is my source. God gave me this money in the first place. God made the produce of my farm to yield in the first place. Because in the law, even in the Old Testament, tithe was not about money. It was about everything, the produce of your field, your grains and everything. So it was not based on money. But today, whenever people pay tithe, they are looking at the money return on investment that they are going to get. And all we think about is finances, finances. It's not just about money. Because in the law, people tithe off of grains and all of those things. Like barely would you see money mentioned. It is in our time that everything has been converted. We make it an obligation. You don't tithe for God to bless you because this is not a Ponzi scheme. God is not a magician. Now you are saying, now I'm putting in this 10 Kobo so that you're going to repay me with 100 Kobo. You're going to multiply the money, MMM, multiply the money for me, God. The reality is that God already provided for you. You pay your tithes because you're recognizing him as the source. Now let's read. Genesis chapter 14, which talks about Abraham paying tithe. For the first time, we see tithe being mentioned. And Melchizedek, the king of Salem and a priest of God, most I, brought Abraham some bread and wine. Melchizedek blessed Abraham with this blessing. Blessed be Abraham by God, most I, creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God, most I, who has defeated your enemies for you. Then Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the goods he had recovered in this story you need to go and read the whole portion to get the context abraham went to rescue his nephew lot who was taken abraham went there and god gave him victory and when abraham returned melchizedek the high priest who is said to be the pre-incarnate messiah christ he came to abraham and blessed him and then he poured out this blessing that i just read to abraham and gave abraham bread and wine imagine he's coming back from war he is tired and weak God provided him with bread and wine, strengthened him. And then as a response, Abraham responded by giving him the tenth of everything that he recovered. Now, that is the picture of tithe. God blessed you. God blessed you. God provided for you. God came through for you. God gave you victory throughout the whole month. Now, it is as a response to the goodness of God that you pay your tithe, not as a means of let me pay my tithe to get something from God. What about Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 through 10 where the scripture says, Oh, you've robbed God. You have cheated God. Now, a lot of people use this and then I'm like, you can't just speak this one portion and make a whole law out of it just to hold on the neck of the new believers who believe in Christ who do not live under the law of Moses because we do not operate under the law. 
we operate under Christ and the things that Christ did not make the most important things should not be made the most important things to us. When you decide to pay your tithe, it should not be based on the fact that your tithe is based on obligation. Neither should it be out of your selfishness of you saying, now I'm paying my tithe so that I can get something from God. Let me get this return on investment. Let, let me put this money here so that God will multiply it. It is not based on that. Malachi, the prophet here in his day, the children of Israel stopped paying tithes. And now I said in the beginning of this video, the importance of tithes to them. The Levites were not working. So they were serving as priests in the temple. The tithe was for them to be provided for. So now them stopping to pay tithe has left the Levites in a place of hunger and lack. And then the orphans and the widows and the storehouse was supposed to be filled so that these people will be fed. But now they could no longer be fed. So now God has been robbed. That was him coming with this message of repentance, telling them, you guys, come back, return to the Lord and pay your tithe and see, trust God with this, test God with this. Because at this point, they, are, they have become cynical. They have started criticizing, why are we even saving God? Why do we even pay our tithe? Just like today, people will ask, why do we have to pay? So bringing up the mindset of an obligation or deceiving people with what they are going to get, it is about faith. Because with this, it's about trusting in God. When you give God, it's the mindset and the heart of saying, God, you are my source. You provided for me. When you plant a seed in the farm, who makes the seed to grow? God makes the rain to fall. God makes the seed to grow. You cannot control the aspect of the seed growing. It is the hand of God. It is the provision of God that makes that seed to grow. And in their time, it was based on agriculture. So God said, I'm going to make your farm produce. I'm going to make things work out for you. But trust me, I am your source. So it's all about, it's a call to faith, not a call to transaction. It's a call, come and trust me with this. Know that I'm your source. Because first of all, I have to say this, tithing is for our hearts. Tithing is for God to trust us that we are not people that are hoarders of the blessings he gives to us. Tithing is for God to open our hearts to generosity. He is the source that if he leads us to bless people, to give, we can open our hearts to do that because God is using tithes to train us to be generous, not to be stingy. And most times the way it's been propagated is about a message of this selfishness of pay your tithes so that God will bless you and you keep being selfish. Not the message of how God will open your heart to become a generous person. So the fourth point is when you think about tithes, don't think money. When God talked about opening the windows of heaven, you have to be particular about the context of that blessing. Malachi chapter 3 from verse 10 says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it put me to the test. Now verse 11 describes the blessing, how it comes. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they arrive, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Then all nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord of heaven's army. Now God is talking about protecting you. Your money is not going to be wasted. The natural occurrences that happen to people for them to have to waste their money will not occur to you because you've recognized that God is your source. Don't think money because when you pay your tithe, you're thinking about how God blessing you in enormous amount of money. It's about God protecting you. It's about God safeguarding you. It's about God not allowing you to be leaking in different areas that immediately your money is being paid before you know. It's natural. It's not God that causes this. It's not even because you don't pay your tithe that you get sick. It is a natural thing. We are living in a broken and fallen world. So these things will occur naturally. And God needs you to recognize him as your source. And he will protect you. He will keep your health. He will make you sound and your family too. It's about saying, I trust God. God is my source. This is about faith, not money. I'm going to summarize with this. The aspect of scripture in Proverbs 19, 17 says, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17 says, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord and he will pay back what he has given. In this context, I want to talk about this tithing. When you pay your tithe, like I said, the essence of paying tithe is for the widows and the orphans and the strangers to be taken care of. These are the poor. So when you do this, scripture says that he who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord. Now, this is the part of how God repays you for paying tithe. First of all, this is the revelation of God. When you get a loan from a loan company, the company has interest rates for their loan. And now God is saying when you are giving to the poor, 
which is true your diet if your diet is properly used it's meant to take care of the poor and take care of the needy so it means you're already doing this as you are doing this you are lending to the lord you are loaning god something and there are interest rates that god will multiply to you and he will pay you back that is what scripture says now that's way for me i believe god looks at it you've loaned him money you've loaned him your goods you've loaned him your resources and he's going to pay you back he's going to pay you back he trusted you with the resources in the first place and now you've loaned him he is going to pay you back so you just have to know it is not about you being pressured or being manipulated to pay your tithe if you want to pay it is a personal decision and it should not be based off on what you're going to get but it should be based off on faith that i trust god god provided for me god came through for me he has been coming through for me is my source i hope this video is a blessing to you let me know if you have questions you can drop your questions and then we can dig further into it and maybe if there's need to answer it in the comments i could do that but if there's need to do another video on it just let me know thank you and i appreciate you watching to the end i am um check out my other videos god bless